When it comes to doing business and making money, there's always going to be a number of people who will be happy to break the rules to grab a bigger slice of the pie. And in the local business world, this translates into business owners cheating to artificially increase their Google My Business listing visibility in Google search results, or in some cases, purposely damaging their competitor's credibility online. I personally can't stand cheats, so I thought it would be a good idea for me to show you one of the most common Google My Business dirty tactic used by unscrupulous business owners, which may rob you from getting more customers and what you can do about it. This is known as name spamming. If you've been following my channel for a while, you're probably aware of this problem as I've mentioned it in many of my previous videos. Unfortunately, this tactic is being used more in 2021 than ever before as business owners are becoming more knowledgeable about how Google My Business really works. So I thought it was time to tackle this one more time. Having a keyword in your business name will have a major influence on how high your listing will rank in Google Map. If I search for the keyword pest control near me, you can see the top three results all have the keyword pest control included in their names. And this is no coincidence. The problem is none of these businesses are sticking to the Google's guidelines, which are very clear. Your name should reflect your business real world name. In this example, the first business is a company called rent to kill yet they have added two keywords in their name, pest control, as well as a location keyword Twickenham. The second business has done exactly the same thing. And I can't even check what this company is or if it even exists since they don't even have a website. The third one is also cheating. Their company name is actually called Power Pest Control. No mention of West London in their name anywhere. Adding keywords to your business name can propel your listing right to the top of Google Maps results in a matter of a few days. Check out the results of this study conducted by Sterling Sky, who added and removed keywords from various listings names, which shows how impactful this can be. This explains why so many businesses are willing to break the rules. The problem is if you, as a business owner, are sticking to the Google's guidelines, which you should, a lot of these businesses who use this tactic will rank above you illegitimately stealing some of the traffic and leads you deserve. So what are you supposed to do? Use a computer in the area where you want to find the spammers. Let's say you have a plumbing business based in London Twickenham. In this case, you'd need to do your research somewhere in Twickenham. Open Google Maps from one browser and type the following in the search box. In title, colon, followed by the keyword you want to rank for. Let's try boiler repair. This will list all the businesses nearby who have this particular keyword in their business name. Finding the cheats is generally super easy. Just scroll down the list and check the businesses' names you think look suspicious. Very long business names with loads of keywords in them are generally a big giveaway. Investigate further to verify if the name they are using is legitimate or not. To do this, I suggest you check out their website link, which usually should match with their business name. If not, you know you're onto something. Then visit their website to see how they display their name on their homepage and represent themselves. You can take it a step further and even call the business owners and check how they answer the phone and if they mention a company's name when they introduce themselves. As you are going through this exercise, create a list using a free Google Sheet of all the spammy listings you have uncovered for each of your target keyword. On this sheet, add the name of the business, their website link, and a direct link to their Google My Business profile. The easiest way to do this is once you've clicked on the business listing, just click on the share option, click on the copy link option and add it to your spreadsheet. All this information will be used to hunt down the spammers. Once you've finished doing this, this is what you need to do next. Pull out each and every listing you have found and one by one start correcting their names with their real business name using the edit option available on their listing. Yes, just in case you didn't know, you can edit anybody's listing profile. In some cases, the name will be corrected within 10 minutes as Google sometimes uses an automated process. If after 10 minutes or so, you see the name has been corrected, update your list. Add the date when the change was made and if it has gone through. More often than not, however, Google will need to review the suggested edit before implementing it, which will take a bit longer than 10 minutes. You should receive an email like this one as an acknowledgement. 
update your list with the correct information this time including the date and status such as pending. Sadly, Google is not the best at dealing with these corrections and sometimes suggested edits can be pending for weeks and even months. Sometimes you'll receive an email almost immediately after suggesting an edit, sometimes several days later. It's difficult to tell how long you should wait, but the recommendation here is to include the spam fighting routine as part of your ongoing marketing strategy and check the listing you identified as spam regularly. The reason behind this is because even when you manage to correct a business name, the owner will quickly find out through a notification that will be displayed in the Google My Business dashboard and very often they will change the name to what it was before, meaning you will be back to square one. If your suggested edits have been pending for too long or if a business keeps reverting its name back and stuffing it with keywords, you'll need to step up your war against the spammers up a notch. To do this, use the Google Redressal form. You can find the link in the description below. This form has been specifically designed to help Google clamp down on businesses who are misleading customers with wrong information or are acting fraudulently on Google Maps. You'll need to fill in a number of fields and specify which part of the listing is misleading or fraudulent. In this case, select the title. To provide the public URL of a business listing, simply just go to Google Maps, search for the listing you want to report, copy the long URL from the search bar and paste it in the form. You can also upload documents to back up your claim, which I recommend you do. For instance, you could take pictures of the outside of the building where the business operates that shows their name on a plaque that doesn't match with their name on their listing or screenshot uh, their website or even use a Google Street View. Once you've done this, you will be provided with a unique case ID and also receive a confirmation email from Google to let you know they will review your complaint. It generally takes a minimum of two weeks before the case is sorted out by Google, sometimes longer. I suggest you add the date you submitted your complaint to your spreadsheet along with a specific case ID so it's easier for you to track the progress of each case. I've spoken to many business owners who feel uneasy about reporting some of their competitors to which I would say if you can afford to lose customers to cheats it's up to you. I believe competition is in business is healthy and part of the game we all play but everybody should abide to the same rules. I hope you found this video useful as always. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. And until next time, happy marketing.